Hey guys, Two Fanatical for you here, and this week I thought I'm gonna make like a separate video on how I'm gonna customize the car. I'll give you guys my impressions of this car. I've actually been waiting so long for this car to go on the podium, and finally it's here. So all right, let's go. Never, I've never tested the car before, so first impressions. Well, okay, it's night time, and the back tail lights—they look freaking awesome. There's multiple rings within each headlight. Okay, if you reverse, you got the reversing lights in the middle, it's pretty dope. High beam is actually on separate lights, right at the bottom. Yeah, so at night, the car looks awesome, it definitely looks awesome. Okay. Sound, let me crank up the sound a little bit. Okay, sounds good, sounds good, it's not, it could be better, but okay, it sounds good, it's not bad, it's not overly super cool. Right, it's actually a rear wheel drive, as expected, yep, I did, I did know that about the car, He's some ladies. Okay, so it, it is fast, it's not overly fast though. Yeah, I've seen a lot of faster cars actually, and since this uh, rear-wheel drive car, it actually tends to spin out quite a lot. So you have to be careful when cornering, not like with the four-wheel four drive cars. Doesn't it actually in some ways look like that car? <laughs> it does remind me a little bit of this car to be honest, but okay. Right, let's let's customize the car, see what we can actually make out of it. The usual, max armor, best brakes. Right, so we got the front bumpers, let's see what we have. Okay. We have some canards. Now a racer splitter. Downforce splitter. Performance splitter. Arc Splitter and GT Splitter. Okay, so what should we go for? I kind of like the Arc Splitter because it doesn't doesn't have that metal metal bracket there. It looks a bit cleaner, so let's go with this one. Okay, now rear bumpers, it's a ray, uh, racer diffuser. Now Racer MK2 Diffuser, Performance Diffuser, okay this adds some cool uh, whatever those things are called, right so this adds some lines on the sides, I kinda like the Speed Diffuser, it looks, looks the coolest I think, cause it adds this little wing here on the side as well, okay. Engine level 4. Okay, exhaust. Okay. Exhaust is actually at the top here. Our stock exhaust is just this one massive hole. Well, not sure about that yet. Okay. We'll, we'll get back to that. Uh, lights, headlights. Xenon, okay, neon, on sides and back. That's what the color will choose later. Right, so liveries. What liveries does this car actually have? This is the one that you get from the podium. Let's see this from the side as well. I do like liveries, but kind of I don't like them on this car though, because this car looks more like classy, so I'm gonna keep it clean, clean and classic. Guys, um, to me wine red looks cool, so let's go with wine red. Pearl, uh, add some pearl.
Okay, we'll put formula red on top. Now, secondary color. What does that change? Okay, we have top here. Actually, it's a bit difficult to see with the library on, so we'll actually remove the library. Yep. Respray secondary, secondary crew. No, we don't. Secondary color. Alright, you know what? Let's stick on uh, side skirts. What we get with side skirts. Race, no. Track, no. Sports, no. Arrow. Mm. What's, what's this? This kind of does look cool. Alright, let's go with the last one. GTMK2 skirts. And spoil it. Well, this will be interesting because I know this car has some pretty interesting spoilers. Hell yeah. That's, that's very interesting, like a nice bar. One, it's one that I might put on GT MK2 spoiler. But I don't see a difference between these two primary and secondary. This looks dope. Yeah, well, it's a hard decision though. This looks more like ca carbon. This is actually a car's color. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Oh. What's. Okay, primary arc spoiler. Let's go with that. Sun strips. Uh, no, kind of it doesn't look cool. Oh, cool. I have no sun strip. Okay, no, lower it down. Transmission face. Turbo, yes. Wheels. Wheel type. Street. <laughs> this actually looks like some kind of armored car suddenly. Right, Mega Mesh. Yeah, let's go with Mega Mesh. Wheel color. Stuff they use on armored cars, you know. And windows now. Since we can see the engine, I think I will not uh, tint the windows. Yeah, just no point because then we lose the uh, view of the engine as well. Now let's check how that would change the look of the car. Well, this doesn't look too bad, but no, I'm gonna keep keep it stock. All right, guys. So I think we're done. Okay, guys. So there's the car now. 
just the way I prefer to customize the car. Okay, it's definitely a lot faster, feels a lot faster. Alright, actually one thing we haven't done. Let's open all the doors. The hoods, the bonnets, the interaction menu. Alright. That's dope. That's awesome. actually remove the mask oh hey guys look at that the level <laughs> the level of detail well that was nice um, I don't know how that happened but we just lost the back <laughs> We just lost the back. Well, I guess... Okay, screw this then. We can have a nicer view in the back. See nice Lampandi logo on there. Uh, and, ooh, exhaust. We didn't change the exhaust. I totally like forgot about the exhaust, so that's the stock exhaust. At least we can have a nice clean uh, view of the back. That... Uh, that came off uh, way, way, way too easy. Um, yeah. I know, a flow in design, so it was a factory defect, I think. Oh! <laughs> Let's move this somewhere. What will NPCs do? Let's... Uh... Okay. <laughs> oh, he's like so weird now. Okay, we might as well check the interior while it's still there. Yeah, it's not really much to look inside on. Okay. So, um... Let's actually take the car to the city. We know it's fast, it's not super fast though. Could be faster for that kind of price, 2.3 million. It's definitely a load of other cars that are faster than this. The handling is... it's good. It's good, it's not bad, but I kind of prefer um, four-wheel drive cars, makes them a bit more stable. Yeah, as you saw, that wasn't intentional, it just spun out. There's some flames coming out from that exhaust hole. It tends to spin out. It does tend to spin out. So, would would I be happy if I would would have just spent 2.3 million on the car? Probably not. Probably not. But while it's still on the podium, is it worth a win? I think it is. It's a cool looking car. The customization is awesome. Yeah guys, so as for the pluses on the car, I do like the taillights, I do like the spoiler, I do like the general look of the car, it looks awesome. Exposed engine as well. Well, it could be faster, it could uh, handle a bit better, 
but other than that it's a pretty cool car so I'm gonna give it a 7 and since I didn't pay 2.3 million for the car I'm happy with the car. If I would have bought the car I would probably not be so happy spending 2.3 million on this but yeah so looks approved performance not approved. Anyways guys thanks for watching please drop a like subscribe to the channel and see you next one bye